Hey everyone, here's how to make shakes for your Valorant edits and montages on Premiere Pro. You're going to need the Sapphire plugin, which is very, very essential, so please install it first. All right, so here's my clip. As you can see, it's been remapped already. And the first thing we're going to make is a scale in, like a punch in effect, which looks like this. And to make it is very simple. If I just break it down, you can see I've used the scale. So it's 100 at the beginning, two frames ahead, 110, and then 100 at the end with a simple graph. So let's remake this. Head to the very start of your clip. Click on the stopwatch just here to place a keyframe and then head one, two frames ahead, set it to 110, move to the end of your remap, so mine's around here, and then reset it back to 100, open up the graph, so click on this tiny arrow next to the stopwatch, and then we're going to graph this. I think it's a bit easier if we just right click on the first keyframe and select cut, just so we can graph this smoothly without any problems. So what I'm gonna do is just click it and drag this handle all the way to the left, like so and let go make sure it's not too high or too low so just on level right there let go then you can head back right click and paste to place it back now you should have three keyframes in total now moving on to the shake so head over to your project tab and create an adjustment layer i'm just going to right click here so right click new item adjustment layer and click ok then place the adjustment layer on top of your clip covering the remap so mine ends around here so I'm just going to extend it like so. Head over to the effects panel just here and search for S shake, which is underneath Sapphire Distort. Add this onto your adjustment layer directly. The main thing we're going to focus on is the amplitude for now. So you want to keyframe it and set it to zero at the start. Head one or two frames ahead, depending on your remap. Change it to one. We are going to graph these two first. So just open up the graph just like before. Grab the handle for your first keyframe, this bar right here and pull it all the way to the right. Make sure the velocity does not dip below zero if it's something like 0 0.5 or even 1.1 that's fine it just has to be zero or above so there you go then i'm going to head to the end of my adjustment layer and set the amplitude to zero and i'm going to graph this to the left but as you can see it's quite tricky so i'm going to remove this first keyframe by right clicking and selecting cut and then graphing it so i'm just going to grab this handle and put it all the way to the left like so make sure it looks smooth head back to the start right click and paste play it back and you'll see how it looks so far all we need to do now is just change the settings the hard part has been complete so scroll down and change the main frequency to four and also enable the motion blur change the motion blur length to 0.25 i think that this is a matter of preference so if you want to see more motion blur on your clip then turn it up i prefer less it just looks more clean in my opinion so 0.25 is fine now what you want to do is scroll down even further and open up the x shake change this first one so the x round amp to zero we want to focus on the wave amp so for this one set it to 25 for the x wave amp and for the x wave frequency you could go for something like 1 or 1.5 Five. I'm going to do 1.5, open up the Y shake just below it and do the same. So zero for the RAND amp, leave the RAND frequency. That doesn't really matter as long as this has been set to zero, but we're going to change the wave amp. So that's going to be 75. So the one for the X shake was 25. We're going with 75 for this one. I'm going to leave the wave frequency as it is, which is 0.5. And I'm going to open up the Z shake, change the wave amp to 15, just like that. And also open up the tilt shake if you would like to. This is optional and it does add a bit of rotation to your clip. So if you want to, you can add it, change the wave amp to one. So let's see how it looks so far. Not bad at all. You can extend this even further by extending your adjustment layer. If you do have any more time remap on your clip. So as you can see, I've got this second half here so what i'm going to do is move my playhead to that point which is just around here i would say and set the amplitude to one this can be a little bit difficult but if possible try and graph this so maybe change this value do you see this one up here so for the top graph change this to maybe something like two and if you select this second keyframe here what you want to do is grab this handle and just pull it down so it creates a curve then move your playhead to the end of the remap it's a bit hard to see so i'm just going to hide the layer for now just so i can see so it's around 
here. So I'm going to unhide it and set the amplitude to zero using the graph at the top again, because the one at the bottom is completely useless. I'm going to just grab this handle and push it down like so that should be okay. And also don't forget, we can copy and paste what we made at the beginning for the screen pump. So if you just head to the point, what you can do is highlight all of your keyframes, hold alt on your keyboard and click and drag it from the first keyframe. So just click and drag it, place the first keyframe on your playhead. And that's everything you need to do. Thank you for watching and thank you to my monthly supporters as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.